Oh, Gary, you're just playing on a small base. No, it just may appear to be small, but it really isn't. I'm playing on a proper three-quarter size base. It looks small because I have sloping shoulders, and sloping shoulders gives the base a smaller look. But actually, my string length, which is 42 inches, uh, or in centimeters, I think it's 106 or 107, um, is just normal for a bass. In fact, most of the strings manufactured are manufactured for string length of that dimension. Uh, and so I wondered, well, gee, maybe I have to defend myself a little bit. And I was curious, why do orchestral musicians love to buy these big basses? What is the advantage? They say, oh, well, Gary, I mean, you have to have a big bass in the orchestra. You want that big sound, that wonderful big, mmm, that wonderful passionate warm sound that just sort of embraces the orchestra like a warm blanket. And so I thought, hmm, I wonder if this is really true. So I thought, well, why don't I try an experiment? I don't think many bass players have ever re really done this, especially if say, they've spent a lot of money for a big bass. They're certainly not going to do this. But I got some really nice large instruments, good instruments, put them on the stage, and they were big. And then I got, and then I compared it with my small, so-called small instruments, my three-quarter size bass with a cut-down shoulder uh, or sloping shoulder. Um, and these large instruments, I even got seven eight size basses uh, that are actually larger than a three quarter. But still, I wanted to try this experiment, even though the size of the bass was considerably different and the shape certainly different. So I, I had a bunch of friends sit out in the concert hall at, in various places in the auditorium and I played my bass, and then I played the large bass, exactly the same things in high register, low register, pizzicato, arco, spiccato, and everything, every, anything I could think of that you would use in orchestral playing. And guess what? The, the, it was hands down. Everybody concluded that the smaller basses projected a lot better than the large basses. And when I sp played staccato on the small basses, it sounded clearer than it did on the larger basses. You people should try that. I think you'll be very surprised with the results. I have demonstrated that to bass players who do have large instruments, but you know, they have a mindset. And even though everybody else had concluded that the small bass really works a whole lot better in terms of projection and clarity, uh, they really refused to hear what they were actually hearing. Uh, they still wanted to adhere to this belief that the big basses are better. Well, let me tell you something about that. Big basses do sound absolutely fantastic on the stage, much better than small basses. Of that, I have no doubt. If you had a bass section with small basses, the conductor would really, or I can't say, can't say small basses, sloping shoulder basses, more comfortable, more user-friendly basses. If you had an entire section of these instruments, the conductor would hate it because they don't sound well on the stage. They don't, you know, they are meant to project, but they sound fantastically in the hall. They sound very different in the hall from the way they sound on the stage. One of the amazing examples that I've ever had personally with that was after um, a concert that I played in Osaka. Um, I had played my first Dvorak concerto successfully because I had recorded it even and I didn't like it. And finally, I got a chance to play it the way I wanted to play it. I had a wonderful conductor who really wanted to do what I wanted to do and it was really comfortable for me. So I really pulled out all the stops and gave, gave it a really good shot. And I was really pleased with the results. And the audience responded accordingly. So they wanted an encore. So I went over to the first bass. We had prepared the Van Guren Scherzo. Um, and his part is just. And I'm going. And 
So this was quite amazing because I'm playing with him behind me. He has this huge Montagnana bass, seven eighths size, maybe even closer to full size. It was a huge instrument. And behind me, when he was doing, I thought, oh my God, that's, it sounds like he's playing a big bass drum with, and hitting it with all his power. And I thought, I, I'll never be heard. And you know something? I didn't hear one single note I played. I thought that I was a total failure in this encore. And, but then the audience applauded enthusiastically, and I thought, oh, I guess they must love their first bass player because I'm sure they didn't hear me. And then afterwards, I went out to dinner with some friends who were sitting in the middle of the orchestra, or, uh, orchestra seats, and I said, uh, I have to apologize for the encore. I had no idea that that bass was going to bury me like that. And they looked at me with amazement. Their eyes got really wide, and they said, what are you talking about? And I said, well, I, I played my, and behind me, he was go boom, boom. And I, I said, I couldn't hear a note I played. He said, well, our problem sitting where we were, we didn't hear one note he played. We could only hear you. And we, and we thought, why is he doing that without an accompaniment?